All right, let's see if this is working. Do we have we have sound? Why are we paused? All right. So uh All right, I think we're good now. Uh all right, so we are here in the uh, the hub world section, floor nine, gate of slime. I think is where I need to go. And that is not what I meant. Yes, 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 yes. As usual, it is time for me to start the Rocket League stream. Actually, going to uh, reload the game, and I'm actually gonna. That's interesting. It does that. Uh, I'm gonna put on the Twitch stream on my TV real quick. What is this? Gate of Tar. That thing. Stone slime. I think slime was yeah. Slime was the first one I went to, so I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go. I had to actually look this up because it was kind of annoying. GOG's having a weekend sale, so that's cool. Alright, I actually went and looked this up. Where am I getting hit from? Whoa. Uh, I had to go look this up because I got very turned around. Or at least I thought I got turned around. Come to find out, I didn't. I just chose the wrong portal and I didn't even realize I chose it. But what we're gonna have to do is uh, go through here again. Kind of disappointed that we already did this once. We're gonna have to go through that uh, ridiculous maze with the uh, where the entire level is fake walls, and the level after that is 19, and level 19 has two exits in it. One takes you back to the hub world. The other one takes you to level 20. And 20 is the final level. So it kind of upsets me that uh, I've already been there. I stared at the gate, the portal to the final level. I looked it dead in its portally face and I didn't even realize that that's what I was looking at. So here we are going through this again. Uh, I don't remember where 13 goes. This was that level. All 
I wish I could remember which one I needed to go through. I remember it was near the end, but it wasn't the end. We'll go with this one and we'll just start heading backwards. Wow. through potions like crazy here all right cool so that was a lot shorter than last time entrance to chaos I think this is this is when we first started seeing the wizards I'm actually going to have to uh, turn that off, but first I want to export this and alright so we got CC's uh, catacomb. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is my uh, right haptics chirping. Something got loose and it doesn't make the, uh, the little quiet thud, it actually chirps now. So uh, I'm not going to add a description. Alright, so now that's up in the form that I would prefer to. Now we're gonna do uh, no haptics on this. Why didn't that work? There we go. I have no more chirping. I had it uh, set up pretty close to uh, vibrate on every single shot, which feels great as long as. I mean, well, it feels great, but it doesn't sound great on my device, unfortunately. And that's sim. All right, and that's simply because my controller is a little busted. I'm actually going to be doing a uh, video. Well, I have I have all the footage for it, but I took my controller apart and I replaced the right trigger holder, right trigger. I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, it's what the bumper's on, and it's what holds the uh, actual trigger in place. I think I talked about this last time we played, but uh, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Um, there's the blue key. I seem to remember this room, I mean, this level a little bit. It had the. Uh... Oh, dang, you know what? I forgot something. Uh, do that. I thought my. Uh... My theme, my overlay, whatever you want to call it, was a bit odd. It was missing something. 
And it was. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, not cool, dude. I'm pretty sure this is the area. That's what I'm talking about. That, uh, all four key doors are back to back to back to back. And I gotta get all four colored keys before I go do that. But, uh, I think about, I think I talked about this last time where this continued the trend that Hover Tank did where you could get stuck on geometry real easily. And it wasn't until uh, I think Wolf would be their next one. Uh, Wolf 3D where they actually got it to where you would uh, you wouldn't lose all momentum just from being... Yep, here's the area. And then that's six, which we already had because we have been here. So now we need to find the green and then we come back down through the gold brick area. Stone slime. Have I gone through slime? Green would be in slime, right? And judging by their being enemies here, I'm going to assume I have not been here yet. Let's get out of here. We'll go to 18, which is a pain. Okay, out of here might be. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So yellow. Uh, yeah, which is a pain. And then we go to 19, and I have to choose the portal that does not have the treasure in front of it. And I'm going to make a save there, just in case I choose the wrong one, because I am not doing this all over again. Except somehow I am still entirely lost. There we go. Alright. got to be a little bit careful here because any one of these could open space with a wizard and those wizards can be tricky Now if I remember what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure I went straight last time, and that led me to the dead ends. So this time I started by going backwards. I think this will get me to the portal immediately. Or at least I hope so. Maybe not though. Another dead ends. I 
And I'm pretty sure I said this last time, but I mean, just for the record, I want to 100%. No, I'm blanking down on words here. I feel dumb. Whoa! I hate this level so much. There's not to be any confusion here. This is not a good level. I may attribute it to making sense uh, in the lore. I think if I was an evil witch wizard person who did not want to be found, especially by this warlock who was killing a bunch of my people, the last thing I would do is make a catacomb simple for them to traverse. But from a game design perspective, I never want to play anything like this again in my life. And the thing is, it's difficult to even tell where you've come from. So you pretty much just blast everything forever. Because the alternative is that you might miss something. Now I guess the good thing is, even despite being as old of a game this is, uh, it doesn't get rid of the bodies. Come on. So I can at least tell where I've been as far as where there are robes lying about. I don't even want to imagine how long this level would take to navigate through without the turbo function that I'm using. I mean, I assume it would be doable just by mashing the control key, but at the same time, one, you're gonna have some key some keyboard failure eventually. And two, ooh. Something a little different here. Room with X-shaped stone. Um Yeah, you're eventually gonna have failure just for mashing the button but also I mean there's a lot of fatigue that would be associated with that I would assume so dead end That's what this here is for. And this is also no. I was gonna say this can't be a dead end. I mean, it very well could be, but I mean that's just a very discernible feature putting that pillar there for it to lead nowhere. Now maybe this path ultimately leads nowhere, but I can't believe that that single room was empty.
Now this place looks like it's already been blasted through. Finally! And it should be level 19, and we are going to save here. Because this level leads to 20, somehow or another. No. Why is it return? Oh, that was my fault. This level leads to 20. Not cool, guys. Yeah, I'll stun lock you. I I do not care. Execution. I mean, with how much damage these guys take and deal, I can totally see that. Alright, so I'll snag some of this. Okay, not that one. Ooh, that was getting scary. This one. Wait. Now I'm very confused. has money in front of it don't do it at least that is what I'm going on right now I could be entirely wrong with that they all have money in front of them that one says dead end that one says dead end that one says dead end. Uh. Okay, okay, there's more to explore. happens when we check out the rest of this.
Oh man, this is gonna be bad. At least the stunlock works and I have plenty of potions. That one has money in front of it. This one does not. Beautiful, we did it. Uh, let's see, I will save the second game called uh, Brian and that way I can go back to the hub world if I want to collect the rest of the uh, scrolls and I can always come back here and just finish the game final boss kind of thing do not veer off the path or you will die because see I only have scrolls 1, 3, 6, and 7 Alright, so this is definitely veering off the path, I would say. I like the name of this room. Twisty little passages, all alike. I wonder what really is back here though. I don't gonna laugh so hard if this is just a dead end. And the scroll was correct, but usually they tell you to do things to uh, dissuade you from uh, greater reward, so to speak. Alright, I think it's pretty official that is a true stun lock. is good. These guys would be a lot more dangerous if it weren't. Alright, see I can get behind this. In here we got some scrolls. If this boss is uh, any difficult, these scrolls will definitely be necessary. I can't say the final boss in either of the uh, the Catacomb 2D games are any difficult. Although I guess the hard part is getting back to that red key. Right there. I don't feel like going through another one of these winding passages just for uh, some chests and potions and stuff. I think I've got plenty. So, take care of these two guys since they're following me. Did I get the other one? No, I don't think so.
demon library is interesting and empty. Alright, let's just go where we're supposed to go. Why am I losing health? Oh. Adam. You say I thought I did. Am I missing something here? Hi, I'm Grell Minor. Do you have a towel? Oh, that's not how it ends. Oh my jeez, that's how it ends. Alright, so that is Catacomb 3D The Descent. <laughs>